Welcome back to the channel guys. In the previous video, I showed you how to place a bid and get projects like writing resumes and cover letter. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to write blog articles. Why? Because there are millions if not thousands of jobs on Freelancer and Upwork regarding articles and blog writing. It's not a big deal. It's no rocket science. It's easy. It's simple. You just need to follow six steps which I'm going to illustrate to you. And I'm not just going to brief you with some bullet points over here. I'm going to show you how I write my blogs and articles for my clients on freelancer.com. Enjoy the video. Thank you guys. Okay. So in order to write an amazing article, I follow six steps. That's it. It's that simple. Okay. So first you need to have a topic in mind. So for example, let's say I'm currently working on a project about diet culture. And then whatever topic you have in mind or your client have requested either the outcome should be positive or negative. It all depends on your client. It's not an academic essay that you have to take an intermediary position. Your client must have a motive in mind. Always ask what's the motive, whether they want to show the positive effects of the diet culture, which is currently the trend across the world or the negative connotation of how diet culture can ruin someone's uh, self-motivation, self-esteem, self-image and stuff, stuff like that. So always ask your client about that. And keep in mind that always, always separate the milestones for your project. Same goes for an article or a research article. So if you are not aware of that, go and watch the previous video and you'll be able to comprehend what I'm trying to convey. Okay, so you have the topic in mind. Let's say the motive of client is negative connotations. Okay. So the first step would be research. It's simple. I know. So simply go on Google and write negative effects of dieting. You see, it's already there. Okay, so you have scholarly articles and so many other articles. Dieting is bad for you. Okay, open it. Four hidden dangers of dieting. Okay, so whenever you see four, five negative effects, it's a wide topic. Okay, so 10 solid reasons. So if an article gives you specific answer to what you need, always, always go for that. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see that there are certain points over here there are four points over here as well 10 solid reasons okay so this is going to be good also like keep in mind what is the word count required by your employer so always distribute your adequate time adequate word count for that okay so first thing is research so you, let's say you have these three links in front of you so you are done with your research you have enough content over there to write a thousand words article and art article or a blog it would be fine okay so the next step would be creating an outline not the draft just the outline as i mentioned in the previous video always ask for separate milestones so you get the outline done first and get it approved from your employer and get the payment for it because if your employer is trying to scam you or cheat you you would know from the initial step so for outline simply follow these three skeleton or these three headings so first goes your introduction then discussion oh okay and then conclusion simple so always like whenever you are writing an article a blog post or even a research article or academic article always follow these three headings so first will always be the introduction then the discussion part and conclusion i'm not saying put these three headings in your article okay i'm going to tell you like how to properly uh, write the article but 
in the following steps. So first in introduction, you have like you only need to submit an outline. Okay. So whenever you're giving, so I'm going to write it separately. So keep it in front of you. Okay. So for introduction, you would be. Mm, I'm sorry, like I don't like working on separate fonts. Oh shit. Okay. Hmm. Diet culture. So, so think about a catchy title. Don't even don't mention negative connotations or something like that. Diet culture. A billion dollar industry or a remedy for healthy earth. Okay, yep, it's a catchy title. And if your employer doesn't like it, you'll get it updated even in the first step. So this is your main heading, your introduction body will come here so when you are sending an outline to your employer always mention what you're going to do like for example i will write over here introduction body will come here which okay don't do that which will illustrate what is diet culture which will not illustrate answer what is diet culture uh how many companies, industries are operating towards success of diet culture? You know, like there are green teas and the full bodybuilding community, they're all revolving around the diet culture. Like how to mold your body into a better self. So there, you know, the marketing schemes and creating catchy titles. So it's all about that. So this is your introduction and for discussion, you go to the links, you study them and then uh, never give your straight opinion, your straight judgments like this, that don't work period. Of course it doesn't, but it's relative term, like in long term it doesn't work, but in short term it generates results. So this is false. Never mislead. I know you have an, in, you have a motive in mind that you need to take them towards a negative connotations of dieting but always always put the facts in front of them like the person tried to did however like dieting is bad for you for your mental and physical health this is this is accurate however do not just impose it on your audience or your client never do that always present facts and figures and then let them decide okay because scientifically it's proven over here so never ever do that okay so your in your discussion body so for discussion let's say dieting is bad for your mental and physical health mm. so give a catchy title dieting a sustainable solution question mark like always leave your audience intrigued I know you are not writing for your audience, but it's for your client. So always leave the client in awe. Like he should be, he or she should be like amazed with the work you do for them. So dieting, a sustainable solution, question mark. Let them think about it. Okay. But over here mentioned, this part will illustrate how dieting draws short term results. However, In long term, it affects mental and physical health of individuals. Okay. Then you have the option to create subheadings. So, mental implications of dieting. So 
this is pretty self-explanatory that what you're going to talk about it over here you don't need to like explain it again okay so writing a system function so this is just one heading you go on and you see the what it tells you what it needs that can teach you not to listen okay and it makes food the center of your life yep 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 like coming from my own self experience this is the case but never never impose your own opinions on your work because keep your professional and personal life separate but if you don't do that even that's a good thing uh but it's not the video to talk about it but yeah diet measures your life worth and health in weight yep 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 however you cannot plagiarize anything okay so what you can do you can paraphrase it always keep like you can you see that i keep two types in front of me because this allows me to write better and i take around like for 500 words an hour hour 5 minutes to complete it yep i write that quick okay so dieting makes your life worth and health measures your life worth and health in weight okay dieting dieting measuring your worth in weight okay so this part will demonstrate how an individual measures his her success in terms of their weight so since you have implicate uh, discussed the mental implications and physical implications of dieting so the custom the audience and the reader or your client would be able to okay so this is bothering me now would be uh, the client would be able to understand that yeah yeah it's going in a flow like first you discuss you question whether dieting is a sustainable solution then you draw the mental and physical health conditions or implications of dieting and then you are posing a statement dieting measuring your worth in weights or 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 what in weight okay so so this is the second heading done and then similarly you can go on to the second like the four hidden dangers of dieting now like since you have created the thesis statement and everything else like don't go into the technicalities of a thesis statement and introduction body no don't do that like don't over complicate any writing because your idea would never be novel i don't i'm generalizing i know but your idea would always be drawn from something and you need to draw inspiration because you need to get it done quickly okay so it's just an outline you are just this is just the first step don't over complicate it i know this is going to create a skeleton for you to complete the whole article however like try to get it done as soon as possible fictional wording easier weight gain and after dieting lack of certain vitamins and minerals mm, yep fictional wording okay so it's about the cleanse or detox so it must be talking about the marketing industry okay so this woman wrote this thank you thank you ms komoski mm -hmm. okay cure all magic pills yeah the eating industry is like all messed up i know keto says so using hmm fictional wording okay so <sighs> dieting misleading the audience with fictional wordings hmm okay so it's simple like you can simply use and you know that the theme you are drawing is across dieting around dieting so it's okay 
so this is also another heading if you want you can like number them 1 2 3 4 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.2 and stuff like that but it's fine okay easier weight gain after a diet okay hmm dieting aftermath yep Okay, in over here, after a of dieting, you can talk about all the reason that one should not diet. So it can increase blood pressure, increase risk of heart disease, diabetes, weight gain leads to fatty liver, it can lead to muscle loss, yep, yep, higher body fat percentage. So you see that there are 10 solid reasons why yo-yo dieting is bad for you okay you see how catchy the title is yo-yo dieting who wrote this mr thop thank you mr dr thop sorry about that and it's easy okay so after months of dieting you can choose any of this because higher body fat percentage anything can come so it's up to you and then conclusion so in conclusion like if it would be an affiliate article the employer would tell you like mention this my plan my uh caloric deficit uh diet plan not dieting it's calorie deficiency or something like that your employer will, will tell you like what you need to draw the conclusion to like if it's against the marketing companies it, it will never be about uh making a statement it will always be about a product but if the client wants about uh to make a statement then do so okay so this is the outline prepared for your article what you need to do now is just send it export it into pdf like save as pdf and then send it over to your client so we are done with the second step let me remove this okay so after dieting once you submit it to your employer ask them to really once they get back to you that yeah we like the outline we agree with the outline or the employer will tell you like can you revise this and revise that so you know when you created the milestone initially you must have some milestone for the outline ask him or her politely politely to release the milestone and if they have given you any revisions and they request that you revise the outline first revise it okay so whatever they ask they are going to ask you to, like, to do this or do that change this heading do include this part and that so you can do that and then revise it and submit it hopefully hopefully by now he or she must have released the milestone for the outline outline make sure make sure that the milestone is released for the outline part after you revise the outline if the employer is not releasing please do not move forward don't be impatient but wait for them to spawn however if they say that we are not going to release the milestone for the outline even though they agreed in the initial steps of the project that yeah we can create the milestone for outline even if the project for the thousand words is twenty dollars always get the milestone separated okay and then get the milestone released for outline before moving forward the next step hopefully the employer releases the milestone so the next step would be creating a draft okay so the draft would be creating the complete text okay so the complete text with the headings revised and you submit it to your employer okay you need to fill out everything every heading which you have revised in this step and then you submit it to your employer keep in mind that Whenever you are creating an outline, do not submit these references or these links to your employer, but keep them in a separate folder or file with you. Because like when I'm starting to write this part and the employer agreed to my outline, so I'll have this in front of me over here. And I'll start writing. It's that simple. Okay. It's do not overcomplicate anything. You see over here. Your body tells you dieting makes the food center of your life. Uh, which heading we use from here? Knives mm, don't work. Oh, dieting is bad for mental physical health. So we saw the similar theme in these two references as well. 
you just open them and start paraphrasing okay so for draft you need to create you need to paraphrase simple it's no it's not difficult do not over complicate it once you have the draft prepared okay like you need to create the draft by keeping all the headings in one side and keeping all the text with the heading okay create a document with the outline and the text from the website prepared in front of you and then create a new document across it and only copy the headings okay so for introduction we decided we are not going to put any heading but over here let's say i want to use this part in my introduction okay and then i'm going to start paraphrasing it it's simple okay do not plagiarize paraphrase always so this is going to be a draft with all the headings which are approved by your employer and the content copied from the website this is your draft you do not need to submit it to your employer please do not submit it to your employer you paraphrase it in a separate file and then you submit it to your employer as a draft okay once you submit it always leave the conclusion aside do not conclude when you create a draft okay present the introduction present a discussion do not conclude it and send it over to your employer and see what he or she tells you either they're going to agree yes we like it modify this adjust this i need this to be changed i need this as well and then you ask them how should it be concluded okay you can ask them before as well but always wait for completion of these five steps before you conclude the article got it once you conclude it ask your employer to release the milestone and then you submit the word document always whenever you are submitting whether it's a draft whether it's an outline submit it in a pdf format they can easily adjust the pdf and make comments like for example let me uh, show you how the employer can easily do this so that because what most of the clients do yes i submitted the pdf okay save what most of the client do if you hand them over the word document they might like take it and run away i'm not sure because this has happened in the past so i'm going to guide you accordingly so create the pdf okay you see the pdf is in front of me the employer will have a look like that and then he can easily okay so it's a sign sorry sorry my mistake my mistake so uh edit pdf and then the employer can comment highlight it and provide you feedback here's the comment please modify this section they can even add that line and stuff like that but it's fine allow comments okay so in order to write an effective articles these are the six steps which you need to do okay so after the draft there should be another milestone for completion for the draft so whenever you are writing an article there must be three separate milestones one for outline one for draft and one for conclusion if the project is much bigger than 20 30 dollars or 50 dollars always make sure that you have separate milestones for revision as well okay so after outline you can add a milestone for outline and then for revision create a milestone for revision as well okay so follow these six steps and you can also write effective articles for your clients online simple if you have any question do drop me a message in the comment section okay 
hopefully you learned something from this video if you do try and create samples and articles for your profile and portfolio if you want me to have a look at them just upload them on a google drive and comment the link to your google drive i know it's not for all but if you know english and you want to earn money you can write articles as well so just follow the six steps which i told you go to the previous video and watch how to place a bid and you can easily get the jobs or articles and blog writing and you can earn up to one dollar per word you write so good luck thank you and like and subscribe don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you have any question thank you bye bye